I have two beautiful cakes and I have my chocolate decorations that I've already started. I tempered my chocolate, spread it onto transfer sheets, drizzled it onto an acetate sheet, and spread it onto a cold sheet tray to make these beautiful curls. And now I'm gonna finish my cakes. So for my transfer sheet, you can see it has that beautiful pattern on the bottom. And what I've done is now that the chocolate is set, I'm going to cut squares. You could also just cut it into shards, just break it into pieces. That's great too. But I like how kind of, I'm gonna put it on with all this craziness of fruit going on, so it's gonna add a little order to our cake. So you can see, just with my paring knife, I just went through and sliced beautiful squares. And now I'm gonna flip it over and just peel the transfer sheet off. And you can see it leaves that beautiful gold color right on there. People will have no idea how you did it. Little do they know how simple it was, but you can see how beautiful that is. So that's gonna go right along the edge of my cake and just stick right into the side. You can see how it just immediately adheres to the whipped cream and try to space them apart a little bit and go all the way around. It's like those very fancy patisseries. Give the same result. But I'm gonna show you how we're gonna add a little bit of an American twist. I'm gonna take some malt balls and I'm just going to coat them to match. You can see we have all those beautiful gold designs on dark chocolate. So I'm gonna make little gold malt balls as well. So all I have is just regular candies here and a little bit of gold dust. You can buy in any sort of specialty cake shop. It's just called luster dust. But I take a little bit on a knife and I just kind of knock it in there. I'm just gonna roll these all around. And if you need more, if it's not coating in enough, you take a paintbrush, just kind of brush it all over. And you can see instantly They've gone from being a very kind of dull supermarket candy to this beautiful, ornate design. It's also great for Christmas cakes and things like that. But I'm gonna take those and just drop a few right all along the top of my cake. Just for a little extra bling. And that's it for that one. Now we're gonna move on to our gorgeous chocolate ganache cake. You can see how fun this looks. Beautiful.